As some of you may or may not know, I was flown out to California because I won this competition that Mike, Liam, Hayden, along with Epidemic Sound put on, and I learned so much, and I wanna share one big takeaway that I had from being there, but one morning, Mike had a great idea to wake up early, really early. Yo, good morning everybody. We are actually on our way to another thing. This thing's gonna be dope. I don't even know what the heck it's called, but we're on our way. So I totally figured out what this place was called. It's called the Infinity Room. So right now we're just chilling in line. It has a whole bunch of lights. It's gonna be pretty sick. However, Mike, who is the genius over here, he said that most likely you can only be in there for like, what, a minute? Apparently so. Yeah. My brother's yeah. been in and he said you can only go in for a minute, yeah. So if that's the case, it's gonna be uh, pretty interesting to see what kind of footage you can get. I mean, everyone seconds. should have an idea of what they want to get in there. So I want to get like a selfie and then maybe a phone shot. I'm all video, so I'm going to get, make these guys look good with it. What lens are you going to use? Um, honestly, I'm probably just going to go with this one. But man, it's because like I may need something lower. Like, I don't know how dark it's going to be in there. I need something that's versatile, man. So I can get uh, some shots. We only got a minute. We don't got time to reach the lens. The thing is, like, I want to like, I want to have a wide shot. Like a 16 shot would be amazing. But then like, I also want to get really nice focus, so like an 85 would be Dude, awesome. Dude, that 85 well. is butter. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's amazing. 35 would be like perfect. Yeah. I'm just going to use a Sigma 35 mil because it's just it's just a base lens, so I'm just going to use that. They've been a bad influence. They're just like, "Dude, stop. The next lens, 35 mil." You have to get it. Fuck. Best what, lens. What about you, Lamont? What are you going to get in there, bro? Well, we just use a 24 to 70 by camera. Sticking to 24 mil f2.8, when it's good enough. Yeah. See how it goes in there, man. Yeah. So we're over here just chilling, waiting until it's our turn to go into the infinity room. So my boy goes to the bathroom. Yeah. All right. So there was this blue like little container thing, and I go to like put the soap on my hands. I'm like, oh, this is quite liquidy, and I smell it. I'm like, this smells good. So I look over at the thing, and it says it's mouthwash. So I just I wash my hands with mouthwash. And why bathroom. would they have mouthwash they in a public them. bathroom? Yo, I'm gonna tell you this though, he comes over and he's just like, he's just like, bro, smell my hands. I was like, I don't know if I want to smell it. <laughs> His hands actually smell pretty good, low key. I should try it sometime. So now we are out of here, they just texted us, and it's time to see if we can get into this place. We literally only have one minute to be in there, so should be good. Should be good. Yeah, the infinity room should, yeah, no, nah, yeah, should be good. We have this thing, so like, it's just kind of like, it's like a go-to vlog thing for the guys, because we're just like, oh yeah, we always just have to say, oh, should be good, should be good, because you have nothing else to say until you get there. So when you sit in line, you just get bored, and so you just do stuff like this. Yo, let me see that. Look at that angle! Oh my god. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's pretty photogenic if you ask me. Yeah, dude. And then you look at this and you're like, thank god it was just the lens. In total, we were in line for like an hour, an hour and a half because apparently this place is pretty popular. But you don't have to wait that long, so check out the clip because you made it this far. So, what'd you think? The truth is they didn't give us a minute, they actually only gave us 45 seconds to be in this room. So check this out, the raw footage is on the big screen and the edits are in the bottom. And this is a great example to show that you just have to do it and move on. This kind of sucked because the lights were flickering like crazy and I just couldn't get the shutter speed quite right. In this case you can see that I shot everything in 120 frames just so I can get the most of every single moment. I got a few detail shots and a couple of wides. I wish I could have mixed it up some more, but hey, I was kind of panicking in there. 
Obviously, I didn't bother hitting the record button on and off because honestly, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm right behind you. Here's a challenge for you. Go somewhere, set a timer for 45 seconds, record, not a second longer, not a second shorter. Edit it and send it to me on Instagram at Keyboard King. I wanna watch it. Sweet. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Yo, that was insane. Literally only Active. how many seconds? 40, are you kidding me? So, well, if you want to succeed pretty much in anything, but specifically YouTube, the idea is to not be a perfectionist. Like going into the infinity room just then, you can't be a perfectionist because we literally only have 45 seconds to be able to shoot any B-roll or shoot any photos. Biggest thing that I can say is execution is key. Ideas are overrated, as Casey Neistat says. No point of, of having an idea at all if you don't materialize it. So yeah. it's all about just getting it done. It's just crazy because when you're a kid in elementary school, they say, hey, you want to have make friends? Quality over quantity, yeah. right? Mm. But in YouTube, it's not that way at all, dude. It's like a balance of quality and quantity at the same time. If you spend so much time on one project and then you put it out maybe like once a month or something like that, like, yeah, like you might get better at like focusing on like the little bits, but reality is nobody actually cares. Like everyone That's comes true. to YouTube to build relationships. They don't come to watch blockbuster films. Sweet. Anyway, well, that is it, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. All right, dude, wait, hold up. What? You're not a real YouTuber if you don't ask to like and subscribe. Got it. Yo, dislike and don't sub- Yeah, good one, <laughs> you- <laughs>